Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna go over everything I made in May. I think a lot of this was orders, but I'm not sure, but I think, but yeah, it's July now. So, and if you've watched my last video for April, I basically have the same intro because it's like the same day that I'm recording them both on. I'm just like behind because like I said, it's July, mid July at that. So we're just behind and I'm catching up. We'll start with this pink mushroom. This was included in an order as like a little add on. So I made this mushroom for an order. I made this cap for an order. This was a repeat customer. I made this little whimsy monster who I think it's the pattern is like Raven and Co. Maybe. But either way, her like little set of whimsy monsters has basically become like my new channel logo mascot thing. It was for a long time the little like Penelope Petals doll from Cable and Canvas, but I like the whimsy monster vibe. And yeah, so they they took over. Not that there's anything wrong with Cable and Canvas. You guys know I still love pretty much everything they do. So I made him, her, it. It was fun. I made a Coraline doll. So you could see Coraline with her button eyes, without her shoes or her jacket. And then you could see Coraline all put together with like the full jacket, purse, boots. I made this for an order. This is not Buzz Light Year. It is Buzz Light Bear. So we're going spoof here. I don't know genuinely if this violates trademark because this person is deceased. But here's my juice world. I did this for an order. That's why I don't know. Cause like it is his likeness. And I think if he were alive, it would be a violation, but I don't know how that works when the party is deceased. But I did really try to do him justice and you can't really tell super a ton on the hair, but the hair in the picture obviously is two-toned. The hair on the doll is kind of two-toned and that was an actual nightmare. Yeah, don't recommend. But what I did was make like a little hair cap and then I tried to gather up the ends of the hair and like put them in a ponytail and then dip in like is it rit or rid right whatever the synthetic dye that you can get at like Walmart for like fabric dyeing and stuff they have like a regular one and then like a synthetic fibers one and if you guys don't know this is all polyester yarn so it would be in the synthetic fibers category and it worked kind of well I did kind of max time on it except my positioning with everything because I had to like hold the hair in partially was like a whole thing and like I did try to rig up something, but it's not as dark as I really needed it to be, but it did die a little bit. But yeah, this, I go through a lot on these custom orders sometimes, but obviously the whole rest of the doll is like pretty basic. So that's my Juice World rendition. And uh, it was a cool order. And if you wanted to know if you could dye that yarn, you can a little bit to a point. It would probably work better if you could get everything like fully submerged and just like set it and forget it and stir it every so often. This next thing was an order also. A person presents me with the character of a man with a phone head wearing a fez hat. <laughs> So we talked it through and we decided that we were gonna make the buttons out of felt because I thought that would be like the way to get it like crisper than if I tried to like embroider them. I did the screen on like the phone receiver holder with white vinyl that I just ironed right on. The fez hat is like crocheted and sewn on. The cool part of this one, and this is what I say when I go through a lot on custom orders, is the a customer requested if I could make the camera that it's holding and it's a little bit hard to see because it's black and the pants are black but it's got like a camcorder style camera it's sitting in its hand and it's like removable you can see on the other hand there's like a black line which is actually a silver line because that's like a little magnet so initially what i tried to do were get these little rare earth magnets and i guess i can link them below if you guys want to use them it might work if you were working with thinner yarn i was working with like worsted weight yarn and the craft smart worsted weight yarn at that so it's like an Aran weight yarn it's like pretty thick for worsted weight. But yeah, what I tried to do initially was like crochet the hand, stick in the rare earth magnets, and then like crochet the camera and then put them together. But it wasn't quite like it kind of held, but it wasn't quite strong enough to like really stay like a gust of wind breath really would have like knocked the camera right off. So I was like, okay, hear me out. The camera is already closed up and has those magnets in there. So they're really not gonna go anywhere. But what if we put a magnet on like the outside of the hands? Cause like crochet is kind of pliable. Like you could turn the arms in like just a little bit to like hide them. If you didn't want to see them, I wanted him to see it for the picture. So I like had it turned out. It's like hideable, but then it's like more direct contact. Cause now the magnets on the outside of the hand versus, you know, 
inside of the hand and the other magnet in the camera is in the camera but it's still more direct contact you know less material in the way i'm sure all of you guys get this i'm over explaining because no one's here to stop it worked a lot better and it kind of came out cool because it's my first piece with an attachable <laughs> accessory and you're able to use it on like either hand so if you want to hold it on this hand you can and uh now we're moving on oh this is another one of those whimsy monsters this one i do like the other three a lot this one was probably my least favorite of the four variations just because i mean i guess it's giving monster but it's more like a weird unicorn because it's got the unicorn horn but they kept the long arms so i just this one wasn't quite my favorite and i'm, I'm not like complaining for sure because i still liked it just like objectively this one was my least favorite but that also could be because I don't like that purple I chose the like darker body purple so maybe in a different color I would have liked it more though bonus points for me for that like nice little bang swoop it came out good I also like the hair on this one too this is probably my favorite one but you know I'm like a mushroom girly so the fact that this one had like the mushroom antenna just really oh and I cut felt which I did not this is not my idea but I think it's a good idea so feel free to like steal it from me since you're hearing it from me but no it's not actually my idea but this pattern called for cutting out felt and sticking it behind the eyes which is not something I've seen so it is a safety eye still but with a like flower pink felt backing that makes it look like a flower and that was the first time I used this technique so like it's awesome and I think the color scheme is really good because I really like pink and this is probably my second favorite and it just felt very like traditional kind of cottage core monster even though that's not really a thing but it was cool it also had hair they all had hair but yeah i don't know why that other one was like separate and i guess i'll pop the four up on the screen right now so you can see them like all side by side by side so it's like a fun little set but yeah that is gonna be all for this video and if you guys would like more crochet content you can check out wherever it appears on the screen i don't think it's flipped anymore so i think it's over here but also don't quote me on that but yeah i'm gonna get on out of here so i can come back in just a second and film june yay